Hello guys, this video is a follow up of my previous video in which I showed you how to make conductive paint at home. So in this episode, I'm going to present you a very simple touch switch for wool by using conductive paint. So let's get started. The first thing you will need for this project is an Arduino development board. Basically, it's a programmable microcontroller. I will use this Arduino Nano, but you can also use an Arduino Uno if you have that instead. The second thing you will need is a relay module. So if you are wondering what is a relay, then it is a simple electrically operated switch. Going into its detail, if we apply 5 volt DC to its input terminal, it will behave as a closed switch. Hence current can flow in the circuit and the bulb will be turned on. But if we disconnect the input signal, it will behave as an open switch. So no current will flow and the bulb will be turned off. Now let's talk about the touch switch. The basic working of the touch switch is like this. First of all, the touchpad will apply signal to the Arduino board. Then the Arduino read this signal and apply 5 volt DC to the relay. When the relay is turned on, current can flow through it and the bulb will be turned on. At this stage, a question arises in mind that how the touchpad will apply signal to the Arduino. So if I probe myself by using oscilloscope, you can see that we get a voltage reading of roughly about 1 volt. So after watching this, most of you might think, am I source of free energy? No, it is just induced voltage. Because we are basically like a big antenna, surrounded by a huge network of wires in the volts. As a proof of this that it is just induced voltage, just focus on the frequency of wave, that why it is perfect 50 Hz. To give you the answer of this question, let's probe the voltage of CD power. You can see that it is a beautiful sine wave. But this beautiful sine wave has a potential to kill you. So be careful when dealing with high voltage. You can see it also has a frequency of 50 Hz. You get what I mean. So the Arduino will sense that small voltage signal and can turn on or off over heavy appliance. Enough of this theory. Now let's get to the wiring of Arduino. The VCC pin of the relay module will connect to the 5 volt pin of the Arduino. And the ground pin will obviously connect to the ground of Arduino. The end pin of the relay module is used to turn the relay on or off, so it will connect to the pin number 4. The pin number 6 will be used as a touch sensitive pin. After completing the wiring, now it's time to program the Arduino. Connect the Arduino USB cable to the computer. You can get the code for this touch switch in the video description. But before uploading the code, make sure that you include the given libraries. Otherwise, the code will not work. To power the bulb, I use a 220 volt inverter, which I showed you in my previous video. So if you are interested in learning the theory behind it, then definitely check it out. Next, to power the Arduino, I have used a power bank. You can also use a 5 volt adopter if you want to make it permanent. So after completing the wiring, as you can see that when I touch the pin, the Arduino sends that small voltage signal and can turn on or off the light bulb. These wiring connections will stay the same if you want to use it with conductive paint. So let's do this. I draw a symbol of light bulb by using conductive paint. You can draw it slightly large or small, depending what you like. If you don't know how to make this conductive paint, then definitely check back the part 1. 
Next, I use double sided tape to attach all the components onto the wall. Then I did all the wiring like I showed you before. By this touch switch, you can turn on or off any appliance. Now, if you touch the conductive pad, the light bulb turns on, which is really kind of cool because previously, you will need some kind of switches to turn things on or off. If you find this project interesting, then definitely try it out by yourself. It really works well. If you have any questions regarding this project, then you can ask me in the comment section below. If you like my creation, then please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Also, press the bell icon so you get a notification whenever I post a new video. Stay safe and I'll see you next time.